Okay, so I'm here today with the Asus X201e. This is the latest in their low-cost laptop line. It's a nice little 11.6-inch device that was just recently released. And I also brought along for comparison's sake the Acer C7 Chromebook, which is the same as an Aspire 1756, or if you're into part numbers, it's the V5 131. Uh, it is a, a nice little 11.6-inch device in a, sim in a similar class, so I brought it along just for comparison's sake. But today we're going to talk about the Asus X201e. Now, if you look at the surface of this one, it is a very nice design. It is a very thin uh, device with this nice silver uh, access trim finish. Uh, it also has a, a textured surface that is matte, so it's not quite the fingerprint magnet of many other devices. Uh, if we take a look at what the ports are on the left side, we've got a power port, a Ethernet port, HDMI, of course. This one comes with a USB 3, which is kind of surprising for this class of device, but it's a nice uh, addition, as well as USB 2 and a Kensington key lock. And on the right side, we have a standard SD slot. We also have a uh, microphone headphone combined jack, which are not my favorite, but it still, it still works. A uh, USB 2 port and a uh, VGA out port. Now, as I said, this is an 11.6 inch device, so it's kind of surprising that it's actually as big as it is. And I'll take uh, the Acer here and set it on top to give you a feel for it. It is quite a bit bigger for some reason. It's not quite, it's about the same height this way, but the width is quite a bit wider. And for some reason they put a really big bezel on this one, which is a surprise. But then again, it's not as thick and heavy as the Acer. So perhaps it was just a, uh, uh, an issue that they, or a, a design decision that they made to increase the size of the battery or something along those lines. Uh, on the inside, we'll open it up and take a look. And you'll notice we have a, a glossy screen. The glossy screen is kind of unfortunate. Uh, it would be nice to have a matte screen, but gloss seems to be the standard of the day. And you'll notice that uh, big, thick bezel that I mentioned before. I also have a great chiclet keyboard. It feels great. Asus really is good at designing keyboards, and you can't really lose on this one. And one of the most important and the nicest features of this device is this touchpad. It is a huge, spacious touchpad, and everything works really well on it. It's a two-finger two finger gestures and uh, those sorts of things all work really, really well on this device. Under the hood, we have a uh, Celeron 847 at 1.1 gigahertz. So for performance, you can expect about uh, twice the performance of an Atom N2600, about three times that of the AMD C-Class machines as far as processing goes. Um, Graphics-wise, it's about four times, maybe a little faster than the, uh, the Atoms, and uh, it keeps up pretty well with the uh, AMD devices. So you're going to have some pretty good performance there. It does come with 4 gig of RAM, which is fantastic, and uh, a 320 gig hard drive out of the box. And the device only costs about $299, so it's quite a good deal. It comes by default with Ubuntu, which is great, so you're not paying any uh, Windows tax on it, and that may be how they keep the price down nice and low. Now, the one thing I haven't mentioned on this device is the battery, and the battery really is its Achilles heel. Um, this device has an internal built-in battery. It is not removable, unfortunately, so you're going you're gonna to be kind of stuck with the battery that you get with it. Uh, it goes for about 5 hours and 20 minutes, which is better than the uh, standard uh, 756 battery on the Acer, which is good. But because it's a non-standard internal battery, replacing it could be a bit of a challenge. Now, one of the nice things about this Asus versus prior versions of Asus netbooks and laptops is the bottom does pop off very easily, so you can just take out the screws here and pop the bottom off, which is nice. And the battery is right there, but as I said, it's a non-standard battery, so it could be tricky to replace down the road, so that's definitely something you're going to want to consider if you're purchasing this for the education market to put in a cart or something like that. As I said, Asus is, in the past, Asus is pretty good uh, about getting parts and making parts available to you, so it may not be that big of a deal, but replacing the batteries on these is not going to be the simple affair that it is, say, on an Acer, where you just pop the battery out and replace it with a new battery. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. That said, for $299, this is quite a nice device. As I uh, mentioned, it comes with Ubuntu, which means that everything works. You're gonna, you can expect all the ports to work. The trackpad works beautifully. Everything works very, very nicely. So if you're looking for uh, your next Ubermix device, this may just be your next Ubermix device for next year at $299. So I encourage you to take a look at it. Consider it. It's an excellent device, and I'm seriously considering it for my deployments next year as well. Thanks for watching.